Hello and welcome to EasyMaths. We now turn to the first half of the topic, sequences and series, in which case we're going to be looking at the concepts surrounding arithmetic sequence. In this particular lesson, we're going to look at a formula that should give us the end term for any arithmetic sequence. And so consider the sequence before us. We have 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, and other terms that can be added there. Please notice that the common difference represented by a small letter D is 3, and the first term represented by a small letter A is 1 in this particular sequence. Now, as I want to explain this particular formula or driver formula that would give us the end term, let's list, let's list these numbers as follows. We have them there, 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. Of course, we would have others, and up to an end term which we don't know. Now please notice that the first term, A, which is also 1, is simply 1. However, the second term is 1 plus 3. And notice that 3 is a common difference. The next one is 1 plus 6. That's the third term is 1 plus 6. The next one is 1 plus 9. The next one is 1 plus 12. The next one is 1 plus 15. And that will continue all the way up to some end term. Again, please also notice that this first term can also be written as 1 plus 0 3s, or if you like, A plus 0 Ds. The second term can be written as 1 plus a single 3, or 1 plus 1 3s, if you like. The second one is 1 plus 2 3s, the next one is 1 plus 3 3s, and so we have the next term there is 1 plus um, 4 3s. 1 plus 5 3 is for the next one, and that will continue up to some end term, which we don't know. Now, using now the letters of A and D, please, let's notice that the first term we said is represented by a small letter A, and it equals to A. So 1 is equals to A. However, the second term, 4, is A plus D, which is 1 plus 3. 1 being A and 3 being the D. The next term, that's the third term, is A plus 2D. The next one is a plus 3d, and you can already see a pattern there. So that we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5d's. And that will continue in the sequence up to some nth term. Obviously, it will be written this particular way. It will be a, because all three, you can see we have an a, and then n minus 1d's. What is the reason? Let me explain by listing the terms. First of all, we have those terms there, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, up to the end term. When we are at the first term, we have zero Ds, like we had here. So we have here one minus one D. When we are at the second term, we had a single D, which is two minus one for the second term. We have two for N minus one, giving us a zero, giving us a single D. And therefore, it is like when we are at the sixth term, we have five Ds. When we have at the fifth term, we have four Ds. When we are at the third term, we have two Ds. And so there's a pattern that a student should be able to observe from there that any term in an arithmetic sequence can be given by A plus N minus one Ds. And that's what we have here. And therefore, let's take note of this, that the nth term, for any arithmetic sequence is simply given by a plus n minus 1 d, n being the number of terms. When you're talking about the 20th term, n will be 20. When you're talking about the 100th term, n would be 100. With that, we turn to an example where we told state the fifth term, the sequence 5, 9, 13. Now, please identify the following a, d, and n. a is 5, that's the first term. d, the common difference is 4. And because we're talking about the fifth term, n again will also be 5. And putting those values in this particular formula we just derived over here, we get that the nth term will be a plus n minus 1 d, where we have 5 plus, in brackets, 5 minus 1, that one multiplied by 4, and that's will be 4 times 5 plus 4 times 4, which is uh, 21. And that tells us that the fifth term in the sequence 5, 9, 13, the fifth will be 21. And having thus explained, uh, come to the end of that lesson. Please like, share, subscribe. Watch out for the check out for the next video, which has concepts that have to do with arithmetic sequence. 
we continue uh, with this for a while before we go to geometric sequence. Thank you.